Good morning, loved ones, on this Tuesday, May the 26th, here in the year 2020. We've been continuing in the book of James, and it says here in James 1, we're looking at verse 7, For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. Well, obviously, this is as a result of a couple of verses previously. Don't let that man, what man? And it says for at the beginning. For for what? Well, we're going to have to go back. In verse 5, speaking of the trials that we all go through and wisdom and decision-making in the trials, that fire extinguisher kind of wisdom that we all need in decision-making in trials. If any of you lack wisdom and decision-making, we all do. Since we lack that wisdom and decision-making, ask of God, because God gives it liberally. And then in verse 6, there's a qualifier. Let him ask in faith, not doubting. For he who doubts is like the waves of the sea. And then it says, for don't let that man think that he will receive anything from the Lord. This is James, and James is very typical of being a straight shooter. A time of crisis is no time for sloppy thinking, and he doesn't let our thinking get sloppy here. Loved ones, when fear fills me, faith is gone. When faith fills me, fear is at a minimum. The old great George Mueller said that. And he was a man who lived by faith and practiced it and saw answers to prayer remarkably in his four orphanages that he ran in the Bristol, England area in the 1800s, feeding hundreds of orphans, relying only on faith. He never asked for a dime or a dollar, or I should say a shilling or a pound because he was in England. He relied completely on faith. Perhaps you've heard the stories. They sat down to breakfast, and nothing was there. And he said, we're going to pray, and we're going to thank God for the food. And at the end of the prayer, someone was knocking on the door of the orphanage. It was a bread truck that had broken down right in front of the orphanage. And he said, the bread's going to spoil. Could you all use some bread today? Another occasion happened when a milk cart did the same thing. Repeatedly it happened. God answers by faith. So friends, let me ask you, what is causing you worry today? What's causing you fear? What's causing you depression, discouragement? What's causing you anger? We have to pray in faith. If you don't pray and if you don't have faith in God, not just that God is able, powerful, but that God actually loves you and chooses to want to do good things for you and has the wisdom to choose the very best. Faith that what happens has crossed God's desk. Therefore, it has God's love stamp all over it just for you. Therefore, we don't have to worry because he's a good father that no matter what happens. Friends, if we don't pray and if we don't have faith, he tells us, don't expect anything to be happening. Don't expect it. Today, it's a choice, not just a chance. It's a choice of whether we're going to go to God in prayer and whether we're going to choose to operate by faith. By the way, we're not going to be able to live by faith by continually watching the news media. That will fill you with fear. You're going to have to choose to shut that thing off. Some people are addicted to chocolate. Some people are addicted to gambling. Some people are addicted to all kinds of negative things. Some people are addicted to their cell phones. And some people are addicted to news media about the coronavirus. Friends, I'm shooting straight with us. Because now of all times is the time to see God answer prayer in your life. You wonder, perhaps, why God isn't doing amazing things. Then maybe you really need to do a serious check. 
Are you continually running to God or are you running to the news media? And are you having faith in this God or are you doubting? If you're doubting, don't expect you're going to receive anything. Let's pray. Lord, help us to be full of faith and faithful in running to you in prayer in the midst of the chaotic crisis. And may we see those answers to prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.